Hey guys and gals, my Cricut 113. Hey, anybody got one of these barometers in your house? Maybe it has a thermometer and a hydrometer. Barometer. What does this have to do with radio? Amateur radio, CB radio, HDTV, a lot of things. If you have a barometer, pay attention to it. I've noticed uh, over the last year or so, when the pressure is high, and that would be the pointer going this way to the fair, very dry, we have a high pressure front coming in. Usually, usually the VHF propagation is better, is better. You might be able to get to a distance, distant repeater a little bit further than you normally can. You might have a really good simplex contact. I don't know, if you do digital modes on that, you might be getting out a little further uh, with your beams, with your vertical antennas. There you go. Uh, we just recently had a cold front and I moved, our pressure was higher and the propagation was good. And I checked Menlo link, which I'll leave a link uh, below in the description before. Now that we had a cold front come in, uh, the pressure in millibars is going down. So if you have a barometer, keep an eye on it, if you have one, and then check Menlo link and see if it compares. See if I'm right or if I'm wrong. But usually when there's a high pressure front over your area, like today in Florida, uh, well, it's Florida, come on. Their uh, VHF propagation was really awesome. But here in the Northeast, it was uh, the last couple of days and over the weekend, and now that the cold front's moving in, and the barometer is dropping, heading in this direction, uh, the propagation wasn't as good. So just a little tidbit for you. This is Mike Cricket 113. Stay warm out there, guys. Take care.